Hi and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for the return. So uh, I bought this really ugly, shitty looking plain brown tray. You know the ones that you put on your ottoman and you have your remote controls and all that other shit in it? Right. Well, I bought one of those a year ago and I decided that it's about high time that I do something with this shit. So I have a Cricut machine. Well, as you can tell from me weeding and all that stuff. Um, FYI, I have really bad sinus today, so please excuse the way I sound. Okay, so back to the topic. Yeah, so I um, I just chose the stencil from the actual Cricut app, and I sized it. I sized it with my phone, with my iPhone. The iPhone has this measuring app. Oh my gosh, it's really it's wow. That's what it can. Where I mean, wow. All right, that's all I have to say about it. Wow, I love this shit. Makes life so much easier. So anyway, so I weeded, I printed it out, I cut it out, and I am weeding this shit out. And weeding to me is so satisfying. I love it. Anyway, so you're gonna get a shot of the ugly ass tray just now. I'm really terrible with this, like, cause I'm new to all this, and I never remember to take a before and an after shot. I need to write that down where it's plain and bold and that I can see it. But anyway, yeah, so I'm just sizing that shit down, making it fit better, which in the end, it didn't really make any sense because like I totally effed it up putting it into the tray when it was time to paint it. Anyway, it still turned out fine. And here, haha, <laughs> this is my tray, as you can tell. It's not even wood, okay guys? I don't know why I took the sandpaper and was like play rubbing it or whatever. I should have just peeled off that bottom piece, but I didn't. Anyway, so I just used some of my Waverly paint in chalk white. I don't know why I said it like that, but I did. And yeah, I just used a foam brush and painted that shit on. And I fast forwarded it so you didn't have to see me put two coats because I, I really hope this video isn't like watching paint dry on the wall. I hope it's a little bit more entertaining than that. But yeah. So after I painted that shit, you see this is where I put down the stencil. And then I effed it up by putting it down because I did put it down properly on the inside. And I tried to bring it up and then everything else was falling off. And I was like, oh my god. <sighs> the struggle is real. This whole new DIY thing. Ain't it easy as they say. Or ain't as easy as it looks. As it make it look. But yeah. It's fun though. I love this shit. So, anyway, back to the friggin' thing. What was I saying again? Nah. Alright, so after I put the stencil down, I just scraped it in with my Cricut scraper. Make it stick much better because you don't want any air bubbles because then the paint might seep underneath it. And then that is. No bueno. Okay, so 
I only did one coat of that blue paint and that blue paint is from Moth Stewart. It's a multi-service satin in summer haze. Yeah, I only did one coat because um, I didn't really want it to be so bright, I guess. Or maybe it's just the fact that like I ain't got no patience and I wanted to see my stuff like yesterday. So I can see this DIY thing being a challenge, but whatever, I love that shit. So I hope you guys really enjoyed that video. And that's my new tray. And I think it looks pretty good. And uh, I hope that you subscribe so you can see more of me trying to do DIYs. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe.